All right, cool. We're doing a daytime video this time. All right, let's talk about transcoding options. What are they and how can you get them onto your stream? So if you don't know what transcoding options are, transcoding options are basically those little resolution options you get when you're watching a Twitch stream. And those options are really awesome. Like let's say you're a viewer on Twitch and let's say your internet really sucks. So you'll probably see buffering and lag and you'll use those transcoding options and you'll bump it down to a lower resolution to make it easier for your internet to handle and you'll get a smoother stream that way. Or maybe you're a Twitch streamer and if you're a Twitch streamer it's in your best interest to have quality options because that means more viewers can watch your stream. If a viewer comes to your stream and you don't have quality options and they can't watch your stream they're just gonna bounce anyway. On top of that having transcoding options means you can stream at whatever bitrate you want and know that your viewers can just turn down the quality if they can't watch your stream. Now if you don't have transcoding options then that means your viewers are stuck with one quality setting and they can't change it at all. Now you might have noticed already that some streams have transcoding and others don't. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining how transcoding works and what you can do to get transcoding into your stream. Now, if you just want a five second explanation for this, partnered streamers are always gonna get transcoding options. And if you're not partnered, you still have a chance to get transcoding options, but you're gonna be placed on an algorithm that determines whether or not you get them. Now, if we want a longer explanation for how exactly it works, stick around because we're gonna be going into it in more detail in this video. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we do all sorts of videos to help you get the most out of your Twitch stream. Okay, so transcoding options. First of all, why do only some streams have them and some of them don't? Well, the reason is pretty simple. Transcoding is really expensive. And because it's so expensive, Twitch only has a finite number of resources to transcode everyone's streams. And because they only have a finite number of transcoding slots, Twitch has to prioritize who they give transcoding to. Now, as I said earlier, Twitch has enough transcoding servers to guarantee that every partner is going to have them. But what about everyone else? Now, I've seen a lot of people speculate saying that Oh, it's based on what your view count is, or if you're an affiliate, you'll get them, or even that it's just totally random. Now, the answer to that's a little bit complicated, but just to summarize it all, if you're not a partner, you still have a chance to get transcoding options, whether you're an affiliate or not. And the thing that determines whether you get them is all based on one algorithm. Now that algorithm is run every single time you start streaming. And if you get quality options at the start of your stream, you're gonna have it for the duration of your stream. And if you don't have them, then you won't get them throughout your stream. Now I say that because it used to be the case that sometimes when you start streaming, you wouldn't have quality options, but then at some point during your stream, you just randomly get them. But Twitch stopped doing that a few years ago, so that doesn't apply anymore. So how does the algorithm work? And more importantly, what can you do to improve your chances of getting transcoding options? Truth be told, no one really knows the exact answer, but we can make some pretty reasonable assumptions. Now, obviously the algorithm probably has to take into account like how many partnered streamers are live right now, or how many transcoding servers that they have actually available, but you can't really control any of those factors. So what factors can you control? Now this part is just speculation, but I think I can say with reasonable assurance that the algorithm probably takes into account how often you stream, how long you stream, how many viewers you get, how active your chat is, and of course, whether or not you're an affiliate. And the reason I say this is because we already know that Twitch tracks this data. And you can see it when you check your path to partner metrics. Now you're probably wondering, how do I know that the algorithm actually works this way? Well, it's pretty obvious. One of the playback engineers said so. Now I was doing some snooping around on Reddit and I found a post from this guy named Slim, Slim Sky, Slimsky, Slimzai. I don't know how to say that name, but anyway, the point is he says that it is based on an algorithm. Many of the inputs to this algorithm are not available outside of Twitch, like how many transcoding servers are available or in repair, etc. Historic viewership or channel, blah, blah, blah. The point is you can read it for yourself. He's confirming that there is an algorithm that exists, but there's so many factors that go into how it's calculated that you can't know for sure that you're going to get them. But some of those factors that he does mention are things that you do have control over. Like you have control over how many viewers you get. You have control of how, how active your chat is. You have control of how often you stream. So to answer the question of this video, if you want quality options in your stream, all you gotta do is work your butt off, get an affiliate, stream as much as you can, stream for as long as you can, get some eyeballs onto your stream. Or if you're lazy, you can just spam it like some people do and keep spamming that start streaming button until you get quality options. There's, there's that as well. In time, you'll notice that you'll start getting transcoding more and more often, and maybe even eventually every time you stream. So uh, yeah, hopefully that 
clears up any confusion about how transcoding works. So next time you hear someone say that they have no control over how you get transcoding options or it's completely random, send them this video. If you guys have found that video helpful, leave a like and let me know if you guys have ever had transcoding options before. I've really said the word transcoding options a million times this video. You can also join the Discord and ask me any kind of question you have related to streaming and I might make a video about it in the future. We just set up a stream setups channel where people have been posting all of their pictures of their stream setups, hence why I called it stream setups. Catch you guys in the Discord and thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next week, I'm out.